A Corona man is sentenced for his role in the murder of a Waterloo businessman. A former pastor will do time in prison. And Allen County officials hope GM will expand its assembly plant in Fort Wayne. We'll tell you more. I'm Maggie Johnson. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right. Sell them a quality vehicle and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grandstaff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. A Corona man will serve four years in prison for his role in the murder of Raymond Morrow at his flea market in Waterloo. Clint Daniel Hess went before Judge Monty Brown on Monday in DeKalb Superior Court. As a part of a deal with prosecutors, Hess pled guilty to a felony charge of assisting a criminal. According to a published report, Hess admitted to driving Jeffrey Kane to Florida knowing that Kane had murdered Morrow. With credit for time served, however, Hess may, not, may only serve another two years behind bars. Also in court on Monday, a former pastor was sentenced on molesting charges. Lane Andrews of Garrett once served as the senior pastor of New Life Ministries and was convicted on charges that involved a sexual act with a minor. The four-year sentence imposed on Andrews will include two years to be served and two years suspended. As a part of his probation, Andrews will also have to submit it to an evaluation and any recommended treatment. A report said that the defendant would have received a greater sentence were it not for the support of his family and friends. Police arrested a young couple on Sunday morning for allegedly stealing a car that they say was owned by the victim of a murder that was said to have been committed over the weekend in Tennessee. The suspects, who are also from Tennessee, have been the subject of a search since the murder took place. Police arrested 22-year-old Benjamin Bowers and his 16-year-old girlfriend, whose name is not being released. The arrest came after the pair were spotted over the weekend at a home of one of the relatives in Gas City. General Motors could soon invest as much as $230 million in its Fort Wayne assembly plant. Allen County Council members this week will consider a request for a tax abatement in an effort to convince GM to choose the Fort Wayne plant as one that will be upgraded. The upgrade money would be used to prepare the facility for the next generation of pickup trucks and thus help retain jobs. General Motors is asking the Allen County Council for a tax abatement of $164 million. Council members will discuss the issue as at when they meet on this Thursday. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. You can email us, who'syourhionews at gmail.com. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.